So here we're going to optimize the channels on the Motorola MC92N0 to work both on the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz band. First we'll select Fusion and we'll go to Options. Select Band Selection. Out of the box these are your channels that you can select. 1 through 14 36 on the 5 gigahertz it's uniband 1, uniband 3 and the ISM channels. So here's where we want to make adjustments on the device as well as on the infrastructure. As before those were your default channels these are all available channels. So let's go ahead and optimize both frequencies. If I'm gonna run only a 2.4 gigahertz network in my infrastructure I'm gonna uncheck 5 gigahertz and take it out all all at once. But what I mainly want to do is I want to optimize my channels. Optimally you should have three non-overlapping channels in your infrastructure. 1, 6, and 11. So you really want to uncheck all other channels that are not being used. That makes that the device doesn't have to scan for those channels if you're not using them. If you are using them then you'd want to keep them enabled. So if we do that and we hit save, we'll say OK and we look at our channel list. So what we've done is we've optimized it for 1, 6, and 11, three non-overlapping channels. If I look on my infrastructure, I see here that I have 1, 6, and 11 as the only 2.4 gigahertz channels that I'm allowing to be talked to. If I wanted to add some, I could go in and add them here, but I don't need to because that's how I've optimized my network. Now let's look at the 5 gigahertz. Remember, as a default, the end devices come with these channels enabled. You have the option to include all of these. Uniband 1, Uniband 2, 2E, 3, and ISM. You need to make sure whatever you have enabled here matches up to what you have on your access points. If your access points are broadcasting a channel that is not listed here on the device, it's essentially a black hole. You just need to make sure your infrastructure matches what's within here and vice versa. So if I look at these channels on my access point, since I can't talk to 21 or 25, I'm going to remove it. In the 2E range, I'm going to remove some of my DFS channels. So take those out of the option for the handheld to connect to. So right now I have Uni1, Uni2, 2E non-DFS, 3, and I disabled ISM. So I need to make sure I'm matching this for a 5 gigahertz. And if I'm going to only run 5 gigahertz, I'm going to uncheck this 2.4 box. And I'm going to check my 5 gigahertz and I'm going to go in and I'm going to make the adjustments to the channels. I'm just going to check off all the ones that I need to add. After I've selected them I'm going to press OK. I'm going to press Save. OK again. And if I look at my channel list I see here's all the channels I have selected that the devices will cycle through to connect to an access point within the infrastructure. So I have what's matching here matches what my access point is going to configure all of the access points for. I'm sorry, what my controller is going to configure all of my access points for as they come up and as they do their smart RF. Once this is configured, please reference the setting up the MC92N0 options on how to complete this task. Thank you.